after finding out that you didn't need um, to have additional plugins or additional software to create an animated moving map, and you could do it just in Keynote, I decided to find out if it would be possible to create a 3D effect video wall. And the answer is... Okay, this really is easier than you think it is. You can see I've got a black background and I've created these blue rectangles which are 638 points by 358. You'll see how to do that when we import the videos. Okay, so let's import the videos and um, all videos really should be of the same size but I haven't bothered for the sake of the tutorial. Well, when we format it we can see this is where you can change the size. The video size I'm going to set to 630 by 354. And I'm going to import all nine of these videos um, in exactly the same way. We'll go here and change the size again. You only have to type in the 630 and it will resize it and you just center it. Okay, so I will get on with doing all the other seven and I'll see you at the other end once or they're all done. Okay, once they're done, we're going to create a frame for them. We'll make a rectangle which covers the whole thing, and we will take away the fill, and we'll add it, add an outline as a line. We're gonna raise it to about 23 thickness, and then we're just gonna adjust it so that it's inside, the frame's inside, and there's no blue or video showing outside of it. So a quick look. And there is a little bit of a problem at the top, so we'll adjust that. Okay, so now we're going to add a line and we're just going to create the grid within which the video's set. So we've got the line, we're going to just fiddle about, resize that, color it, um, and so that it covers the edges of the videos. And then just copy and paste and create the other part of the horizontal grid. Now we're going to um, copy and paste again and resize it to make the lines across the rows. Copy and paste again. And there you have it. And you can see we have a flat 3D wall. And in order to animate the videos, all we'll do is go to the build order. The first one will be after transition, and then every single one after that will be with build one. And then when we preview it, you can see all the videos are playing together, and you've just created a nice video wall. Save it, just export as 1080, and those two things you need to set at zero, and then click save, name it, click save. And that's it. Okay, in Final Cut Pro, I've just loaded a generator called Flow, and I've made a 3D title, a basic 3D title, which I've disabled for now. So I'm gonna load in my video wall and resize it to about seven seconds. Okay, the next job that I want to do is to resize the video wall to about 65%, and then I'm going to position it just about there. Okay, so I'm going to go to the end of the clip, find the last frame, and I'm going to go to the distort section, and I'm going to keyframe all those at zero. Go back to the beginning of the frame, and then this one, minus 30, 30, minus 30, and 30. And what we've done is create a little fake camera sweep effect, um, which looks kind of cool. Okay, um, the next thing to do is I'm going to type in drop. I'm looking for a drop shadow, 
um, just to give it a little bit more depth, play around with the um, settings as you want for the drop shadow. I don't really want too much. Um, that's probably about right for me. Okay, so um, and now I'm going to bring in the second, the clip again, and place it on top. I don't want to copy um, the original because I don't want to copy the parameters. Uh, so resize it to 65 again, and then position it at the end of the clip um, to where you want it when the clip ends. So I'm somewhere about there. Okay, so again we'll go now to our distort and we will keyframe at all at zero at the end. Come back to the beginning and this time I'm going to click on the distort and drag the right hand corner until I get its starting point where I want it. And now I have the reflection and the wall moving at the correct time together. Okay, so I'm going to add an effect called flipped and I'm going to flip vertical so now that the reflection is in actually the right place. Reduce the opacity to around about 35% and we're going to import a Gaussian blur. I'm going to reduce that down to around about 13%. And now we have a really nice reflection which on what looks like a floor um, and so that's it really I'll enable the title it's just a very basic title and that's the effect that you can get okay that's it it's as simple as that I hope you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe so that you can stay updated when I upload future videos I hope you enjoyed this all that remains to be said is see you in the next video.